Okay, so you got your travel plans booked. Now you're just looking forward to that spring break or potentially your summer vacation. A lot of people have a list of what to pack, but do you have a list of how to get your home ready for when you leave? ABC 2's Mallory Sfoste tells us the very least you should do before heading out the door. With just a few simple tasks, you can better enjoy your time away and think less about what's happening back at home. You don't want to come home to a mess. You just enjoyed your vacation, and you don't want to come home to mold and mildew and, and uh, ruined drywall because something broke or, or failed. Talbot Watkins is the owner and president of Windstar Home Services. He's seen the disasters that can happen when people leave their homes without taking some precautions. First thing I would do is turn off your uh, water to the home. You can do that by locating the water main and turning the lever. It's off. Or if you need the water on, switch off sink valves not in use. Electricity, I would unplug. Uh, cords from like toasters, appliances, even TVs and stuff like that. I would unplug different appliances. It won't necessarily save you money on your energy bill, but it could potentially prevent a fire. Like if the if the motor went up in this or some kind of power surge or circuit board, um, it, you know, appliances do catch on fire. You want to turn off all your lights, but you don't want burglars to know that you're not around. So one easy way is to get a timer like this. These cost about $10, and they're as simple as plugging in your lamp here and then plugging it right into the wall and setting the timer. And to keep your home from flooding, make sure the area way in the basement is clean and your sump pump is working properly. So a real easy way to test your sump pump, a lot of people don't realize this, is there's two plugs. This plug here acts as a switch um, to a float that's down there. So you can just bypass that and plug it in and you can hear the sump pump coming on. So you know that it's working. Watkins recommends doing most of these things even if you're just gone a few days. The damage can be catastrophic. So do the legwork for some peace of mind and that Mai Tai may even taste a little sweeter. For ABC2 News, I'm Mallory Safoste. Okay, some other tips that'll help you save money while you're away. Turn down that water heater and turn up the air conditioner. You can set it as high as 80 degrees, but your house could get too humid in the summer if you do set it up as high as like 82. Also, if you have one, be sure to notify your security company that you're going to be away so they can better respond to any alerts that do come in. We've got all this information also on the website, abc2news.com.